Hello everyone, this is Modan Raghavan and this video we are going to see one of the core part of Langchain which is memory. We will try to see in a different way before start the memory. Why do we need memory and what can we do with the memory and how to take the memory into the Langchain. First start with why. So generally in conversational system, the memory is very much important. For example, let's say you ask the question, you get the answer. Later you ask some question, you get the answer. In third level or fourth level, again, you will be having some questions about the full context. That time, again, you don't need to type each and every information so far you have just messaged. Because if you have the memory in your conversation system, it will remember the context. It will have all the previous messages. So basically, you can ask directly the question rather than explaining everything from the scratch again. So that's why memory is so much required. Now, what can we do with the memory and how can we improve or how can we implement inside our Langchain? Basically, as you know, that Langchain has one of the module dedicatedly only for memory. And here memory means it will be having both input and outputs, basically that you do with the conversational system, basically your LLM. Your input and A output, your input and A output, all will be saved inside our memory. Now, how to implement the memory? As we discussed clearly, LLM has the different types of, or to be precise, Langchain has the different types of memory. And this memory can be implemented just having the conversational chain. When you create the conversational chain, you can directly link the memory. But now the question is, how to see the more picture about the memory. As you see in the diagram, the memory will be the center point where you will be asking the question. Before asking the question, you will see, is there any pause messages? That means that before, if you have conversed anything that will be added to your question, then that will be created as a prompt. So that your prompt will have the entire context about your conversation. Then output will be given. Now, the output again should be added to the memory for the next conversation. Basically, you will have the read operation before you prompt and write operation after you get the prompt result. After adding to the memory, then it will be given you as the output. Very simple thing. Now, let's say what are the different types of memories we have or different types of memories can be supported by the Langchain. Conversation buffer, conversation buffer window, entity memory, conversational knowledge graph, conversation summary, conversation summary buffer, conversation token offer, vector based. So far, even we have seen the vector store, right? So some advanced system, even we can use the vector store to have or to store our chats. Let's see, to be precise, we will try to see in a quick way. So what is the purpose of the different types and its usage or when to use that? For example, conversation buffer stores the history of the conversation in a simple memory buffer. It's a very simple storage. Then you have the conversation buffer window memory. That means you don't want to save every message that you converse because as the time goes on, you will be having so much messages. And as we know that the more we put the tokens inside our prompt, it will be costing more. So for that, you will be having the, some limitation. That means that it will be set by the property key. Imagine you mentioned as a property as K as three. That means that every time it will have the very recent three messages. The old messages will be discarded. So that you can ask some certain limit the questions, but you cannot ask after 10 or 20 messages. It will not have that memory. This will be good if you want to manage your memory location and the billing or tokens. Again, entity memory has its own purpose and when to use it. The same way we have that different summary or different conversation memories. But here it will be having the different limits in the different category, such as it can be limited as a tokens. It can be limited as, a, let's say, the number of conversations. And final one would be like a vector store backed memory. That means that you will be saving your memory, not in your system, but in, in your vector store. Based on the different requirements, you will be taking the different memory. Now we know that what is memory and why do we need that? And what are the different types of memory? In practical or in maybe in the starting time, you may not be using all the type of memory. Probably you might be using the conversation buffer memory or conversation buffer window memory. 
we will try to see some of the sample code however this memory can be replaced with any other type of memory that means that seeing one example would be enough based on the need we will be digging into the a uh, specific memory type and we will try to add more things as of now we will be just going to the code to understand more here you can see there are different types of libraries that we have imported already the main one here is the conversation chain unlike previous chains we are creating the conversation chain and since we are going to have a conversational chat that should be the chat models and like llm even if you try llm it will not be supported in the long term we are getting the chat open ai chat model then we are using the conversation buffer window that means this will be having only the limited number of messages in its memory and this number will be mentioned as a k parameter then obviously remaining thing will be the open api key which i am getting from a local file and import voyes to set the open api key for the entire execution the first step would be llm chat open ai object when i create the object i am giving the temperature and i am giving the model name gpt 3.5 turbo you can use any possible model now i am creating the conversation chain it is almost like a same but here i am adding one more parameter like memory that means this chain will have the llm to process our input or prompt and verbose can be set to false or true and the memory this memory will be used for your conversation saving to have the a backup now how the memory looks like basically this will have some template once you create the object for conversation chain that will have the prompt and we can see the template now after that you can give n number of inputs for example it is just like a input a hi aa this is mundan rakavan and i am just telling i went to dubai lives in india my pet name is dragon now again you can see what has been added to the buffer by seeing the conversation dot memory dot buffer now after some time i can ask the question what is my pet name now by default any llm will not know about your pet name but since the conversation has been happened already with your pet name and that also has been added to your memory and that also between in recent three chats so then it would be able to answer your question if you ask some more prompts or if you ask some more chat that time what would happen is like that will just move your pet name into the top that will be removed in later stage then in that time if you ask that question you may not get the answer so far we have seen very simple code walk through we have created the llm we have created the conversation chain and we have seen how the template look likes and we are just giving the chat messages then we are seeing the buffer status now we are asking the question let's see the output directly i have tried three combination just to save the time i will be showing that imagine you have asked the question what is my pet name after giving this input first of all we will see the template the template would be like the following friendly conversation between the human and ai let me wrap it and talk to you lot of specific details from its context okay ai does not know it truthfully says it does not know and the current conversation and the history this is where you will be seeing all your chat messages has been added and human input this is the current input and ai output for that so basically this history is the placeholder where it will get added every conversation now see the buffer status after having this much of conversation let me just expand a little bit and you here can see see here you can see three human messages as of now i am just asking hi this is mundan and the output will be from the ai hello mundan rakavan how can i assist you then i am telling lives in india then it is telling that's great india is a diverse and vibrant country located in south asia and its details okay and even it is giving some more information that is very good then the second message i am telling my pet name is dragon then for a message that's a cool pet name dragons are mythical creatures that are often depicted as large repetitive okay and so on okay now we have the different conversation and this all has been added to the buffer status so that means that this will be the reference for the llm to answer further your questions so ignore this errors because when you ask the questions continuously it may give some errors since i am not using the commercial version free version might ask some questions but the last question is what is my pet name the answer is your pet name is dragon 
so this is very clearly tells like this is not something a general knowledge you can get from the internet or it's not from the already trained llm output this is specifically from my user conversation which happened in very recent time and the two in the last three okay what is other combination the template is same okay fine and i'm asking the same questions that also good now the question is if i just change the k to k to three from or let's say i change it to one or two which basically i'm just removing the the limit or let's say the top limit so then if i ask the question something like so for example let's make it two then it will have last two messages with its memory then if i ask did i go to dubai or something yes did i go to the dubai then it will tell i sorry i don't have any access to your personal information that's a generic message and my primary functions okay that's good what are the other things it's telling design for privacy and confidentiality okay okay fine so that basically means it does not know our question and its answer see the third type again same template that we have seen now i am asking okay before to that go to the previous one see the buffer what was the last one my pet name is dragon okay the same thing good now coming to the third scenario okay the same buffer status okay the same output in the buffer now here you can see again i change it to three when i was executing this one then i asked the same question did i go to dubai then now it's able to tell because i have increased the limit of the memory so it has that information yes you mentioned earlier that you went to mumbai it is a city and explanation about the dubai but basically what does it mean memory is the local buffer space where it will save all our conversation based on the different type of needs we will be using the different type of memory in this demo what we have seen is a conversation buffer window memory that means that it will have the recent conversation maybe n number of conversation based on the input of the k and if does not know it will give the answer directly if it knows it will give the answer from the recent chats and in nutshell what are the other things we have seen so we have seen what is the main usage of memory and what are the modules we have and we have seen how to implement by using the conversation chain and we have seen the overall flow how it works and we have seen the different types however in demo purpose we have just seen the conversation buffer window memory and we have seen the three different parameters or three different scenarios where you will ask the question within the range without the range and something out of the bound so this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud